Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a very popular plugin called Calendly. I use this website to host sessions and meetings all the time with work. And so let's go ahead and search for Calendly. And the one that we will want to use is called Embed Calendly. EMC for short. It currently has 9,000 plus active installations. It also is a five out of five star rating. And so you would assume with confidence that it is really good. Let's go ahead and press the install now button and then activate it. Once we have this activated, it will take us to our list of plugins. And then we can see down in alphabetical order that Embed Calendly is currently activated. We also want to search with our menu right here to see Embed Calendly. Now, this was a little confusing for me at first because I wanted to go to event types, but there's no way to like add an event type within the plugin on Calendly. Instead, what this will do is sync your event types from the Calendly website. And to be able to have them connected, that's when I figured out that we had to go to settings. To be able to set up the Calendly connection, we want to use our API key. If we don't know our Calendly API key, we can find it on the integrations page. Let's go ahead and open the link in a new tab. And then it will have this API key that we can copy. Once we have that copied, we can go and paste it into here. Let's save our settings. And once we have our settings saved with our API key, we can start to use this plugin with the back end of WordPress. Let's go back to our event types. And with our event types, I already currently have one set up with Calendly here called Tutorial Session. With Tutorial Session, we can see it listed right here and we can either customize it from here or we can use the short code that we can copy and paste into our page and see that it is active. One issue that we had when I was installing this and working through Embed Calendly is once we just copied and pasted the short code and then went to our pages, let's go ahead and go to contact us because that's a contact page and then paste that short code. Let's update the contact us page. And then with our website on the front end, let's go ahead and refresh that page. I was super confused because what Calendly did, I don't know if it is a link, I don't know if it's an embed iframe for their calendar, but you don't see it. So I also went ahead and opened up Inspect and you can see that it does register Calendly as part of the page. We have a class of Calendly dash inline widget. We have a style set to height 400 px and a min width of 600 px. But for whatever reason, nothing appears on the front end. And so that's super confusing because once we added that shortcut, short code here, I would imagine that something would at least show up. So even if we were to use like a div class equals row to enforce it to be on the bottom of the page, div class equals row. Well, let's go ahead and close the div instead. Update it. And then hit refresh. We can see that it's now on the bottom of the page, but it once again, it doesn't show anything. 
if we were to go ahead and like add some styling to this row as well. Um, because as of right now, we see the style property is set to height and the min width. So we can add more styling within the opening tag. Style equals, let's do a border of 1px solid gray. Update. Refresh. And again, it does register that something's here, but there's like no iframe. If we were to set it into an iframe, update. Refresh. It would make it smaller, but there's nothing that's going on on the front end side, which can be really frustrating to work with. We do have this option in the embed Calendly to use Customizer. And we can use the drop down for tutorial sessions, start customizing. But the only options that we can really customize is whether or not it's an inline, a pop up text, or a pop up button. So let's go ahead and see what would happen if we changed it to a pop-up button. We can have the float style, either inline or float. We can have the text be book now, large, medium, or small, and the text size for the book now. Let's go ahead and increase that a little bit for visibility. Then we would want to copy this short code. Go back to our pages. contact us and replace this Calendly short code with a new one. We currently have a little bit more styling now because it's considered a button. So update. And we can also remove the border because it should be a button. Remove the iframe. Update. With that added styling, let's see if it appears. Refresh. And it's still not appearing. And so with the complications of not being able to see it on the front end, but being able to see It, in theory, it should work with the back end. Um, it's a really good idea. And so I really wanted this to be able to work. I would give it a rating between a 2.5 and a 3 because the usability is not super easy to understand with a back end. Um, and then I would like. Because it's a little bit higher, it's not like a zero or a one, it's because it's a really good idea. And I would hope that it would be a lot easier to understand. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and listening and feel free to give comments or feedback. Thank you so much.